life spent visiting Fiordland's wild and rugged places inspired local chopper pilot Kim Hollows to bring these magnificent landscapes to the people. Not content with making a home movie, Kim decided to create a feature film and then built the cinema to play it in. G'day Kim, how are you? Good. Got my ticket? I have. Let's go check out your film. What inspired you to make a film about Fiordland? I've been lucky enough to spend my whole adult life in Fiordland. I've been flying all sorts of jobs, a lot of deer recovery, conservation work, tourist operations, so helicopters being my mainstay. And I just wanted to um, show everyone else these special little places that uh, you never get to see otherwise. It wasn't as easy as it sounds though, was it? What, what was involved right from the very beginning? Well, I actually started down the line of doing a home movie. I started with a little video camera and a sewer pipe and flew around with that underneath my helicopter and got lovely sunsets and sunrises and then uh, realised I couldn't make a movie out of that. And then it just, it just morphed into something else. People just jumped on, they just wanted to be part of it. They sort of understand what we're trying to do and everyone just came on board. It was very simple to get people to come and play. Got the big boys in and it was probably two years of sort of reasonably intense filming to get 30 minutes of brilliance, we think. The theatre we're sitting at the moment was it's purpose built for the movie that was made. The day we finished the building, the film was finished and we, we virtually opened all on, on the same day with no practice on the, on the projection room. We just sort of hopped in there and threaded it up and away we went. Tell me a bit about the next step, the Fieldland Conservation Trust. Well, what we've done is we've made it possible for people to donate towards projects within Fiordland and Southland, um, just to um, bring up some of the shortfalls that with conservation spending, so some of these projects wouldn't happen. What are some of the projects that the Trust is involved with? On the Skink Program in the Sinbad Valley, which they're, they're near extinction, and, and we've found a funder that's going to come on board and um, work on that one. We're looking at a, another eradication in Dusky Sound. The Yanker Island Sanctuary and Resolution has been tidied up and we're just trying to tidy up a couple of islands around there. There's, there's another little project on Lake Manapuri, the Pomona Island, that's been, that's been successfully uh, completed and we've just had a first transfer of robins back to there. So yeah, quite a few good little things happening around the place. Art of Whenua or Shadowlands is an inspiring tribute to New Zealand's most pristine environment. By bringing the best of Fiordland to the cinema, thousands of people every year get to experience the best it has to offer. And through the Fiordland Conservation Trust, Kim is putting his love for this area into action by restoring some of our most precious wildlife. <laughs>